Hey there, welcome back. Friends, today we will discuss upon try with resources. Now, before getting started with try with resources, first of all, let us understand what exactly is a resource leak. So first of all, I will type in scanner, scan equals new scanner. So we will simply take a simple user input and in here we will pass on system dot in and in next line we will type in int x equals scan dot next int and finally we will try to print the value of x so this is a very simple and a standard program let me execute this Oops, the console is not showing up because we are directly taking the input. So in here, in order to show you the console first, let me play a trick and type in enter a uh, int value. Pretty standard stuff. Let me rerun this application. Here we go. And the standard value could be like 25. And here is the output, which is a very standard and a basic program. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this program is not to display how to take a user input. This is something you already know. But in here, I want to show you this warning is resource leak scan is never closed. Now, moving forward in order to get rid from this warning, what we will do, we will type in scan dot close. Now, the warning will be vanished. Now these kind of scenario of closing the resources is some time cumbersome and it's a extra step. It would be really good if these kind of resources could be closed automatically. Here the try with resources concepts come into picture and this is how try with resources can help us. In fact, we have already used try with resources in our previous programs. So let me show you when we have coded these programs, for example, writing into files. Let me show you in here. We have already made use of try with resources. What exactly is try with resources? Whenever we are allocating a resource which needs to be closed, we will make use of that particular allocation statement which is this statement which is highlighted currently inside the try blocks parenthesis. Now understand this inside this particular statement, we are creating an object. This object is nothing but a resource and this resource needs to be closed else we will get the warning of resource leak and resource leak is not good for your applications performance and security. So it is good to close it. Now friends, using this particular methodology where we are making use of pair of parentheses directly at trial level will help us to close the resource automatically. Let me show you in here. If I skip making use of this statement, BW dot close, even then there won't be any warning in our application. Let me do one more thing in here. If I move this particular statement inside the try block and get rid of these pair of parentheses and save the program. What will be the outcome? Definitely the outcome would be a resource leak warning. Let me show you in here. There is this warning and the warning is resource leak. BW is never closed. And now closing this is a recommendation. Why? Because closing of this resource won't be done automatically because we are not making use of try with resources. So it is best practice to make use of try with resources whenever you are working with a object which needs to be closed. Usually how you can identify whether the element is a resource or not. Definitely it's pretty simple. Whenever you are making use of data resources streams streams needs to be closed. For example, scanner class, for example, buffered class. So whenever the object is related to these kind of classes, scanner class or buffered class, definitely you have to close the resource. As a result, whenever you work with scanner class or buffered, class always make sure to make use of try with resources, which is a recommended practice, which is a best practice. All right. So let me undo the changes 
and make use of try with resources and we will also skip making use of close statement in here because it is not required now all right so this is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching